Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to do a simple experiment exploring the effect of the angle of launch on the range of a projectile and I'm going to do this through the game of Minecraft. Okay, so I'm going to go and get uh, this tool over here to help me determine the angle. So I can press F3 to get this. Okay, so the angle is listed here, the one that says facing west towards negative x, 88.1, 4.4. So the 4.4 actually means that I am currently facing a 4.4 a 4 degree angle with respect to the horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to make an experiment that explores what happens if I raise the uh, angle a little bit and see where that how that will affect my projectile. So let's try launching what around 15, 15 degrees. Okay, and that landed at around, where did that go? Okay, so if, so if I fire at 15 degrees, it's around 80. Now let's uh, raise it up a little bit. Let's make it 30 degrees. So again, 15 degrees lands me at around 80. How about 30 degrees? So if I go at around 30 degrees, oops, this is fine. So fire the arrow at around 30 degrees. And where do I land? So this is my initial, oh, a little bit further down the road. So I get to around 110 meters away from me. Okay, now how about if I fire at 45 degrees? Okay, let's go to 45. Let's go back to my initial starting point again. Okay, 45. Okay, so 30, 38. Okay, 45. There we go, perfect. Fully charge and fire. Okay, 45 degrees. And where did that land? Okay, it's not that far off actually. It's a little bit down the, down at the middle. So I'd say 115. So if uh, the 30 degree one landed around 110, the 45 degree one landed at around 115. Now how about if I go a little bit further? Let's say I fire at 60 degrees. Will it continue its upward trend? Okay. So let's see, 50 degrees, let's, or not 50 degrees, but 45 plus 15 is 60 degrees. Okay, I think I should fix the way this uh, arrow, this uh, block above me is uh, nearly blocking my view. Okay, 60 degrees, go. Okay, now I fired at 60 degrees. Where will that take me? Hmm. Well, it actually went down less, so it's now at 90. Okay. So take note, it was at 115 earlier, it went down to 90 degrees. But what if I now go another extra mile, what if I go now to 75 degrees? Okay, let's just uh, make a bit of room for that shot, okay? 75 degrees, so let's stand here, get my arrow out, 75 degrees. Okay. 75 degrees and fire okay that one went pretty high but it will land just around 50. so as you could see it peaked at around 45 degrees but so it started out at 15 degrees it was around 80 then it went to 110 then 115 at 45 degrees but then after 45 degrees it went down Okay, so this one is actually one of the uh, things about projectile motion. When you try solving for the range of your projectile, you'll find out that 45 degrees is really the maximum range. Okay, because if you fire perfectly horizontally, actually, let's just try that. What if you fire at 0 degrees? So let me just align this. Okay, 0 degrees and fire. So 0 degrees will land you at around 20, which is pretty low. Okay, that's because you don't really have much time on the flight. But if you saw the 75 degree one, you actually had so much time of flight. The only problem is you don't have a lot of X velocity. Okay, so if I were to just get my uh, paint program a little bit. Okay, let's uh, get my paint. So, just to explain this uh, concept a bit more uh, theoretically. Excuse me. I think I plugged in the wrong thing. There we go. So just to explain this, so if you fire, if this was the uh, the land, if you fire at zero, it just goes like that. But the more you increase the angle, okay, the more it will actually go. However, there's a limit to this, okay? 
it will peak at around 45 degrees. Because once you get past 45 degrees, okay, oh sorry, this is not really explained. Once you get, get past 45 degrees, it will actually start to arc a little bit quicker. Okay, the time of flight will be long, but as you could see, once you get to 90, or once you get near 90, it will almost be a very low range. It goes in the air for long, but it doesn't go that far. And that's because as you go in terms of angle, the VIX will decrease. Okay, but the time will increase. And therefore, the perfect compromise for this would be 45 degrees. So, my lesson for today is simple. If you want to hit your uh, zombie from a long distance in Minecraft, fire it at 45 degrees. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this video was enlightening about the concepts of projectile motion. And I look forward to teaching this to you when I meet you in the classroom. Take care.